Okay. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, first, let me, uh, let me say to everyone, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Ken Kozell. I'm the CEO for Shore Regional Health. And I'd like to thank everybody for being here today. It's so great to see so much support for some of the things we're doing here in Queen Anne's County. Uh, I think this is an exciting day for Shore Regional Health. We've been planning this for some time. It's been a collaboration between the Queen Anne's County Council, the University of Maryland Medical System, and Shore Regional Health. And it's so great to see this day come to fruition finally. And if you get the chance, please take the tour. It really is a beautiful facility. Uh, we'd want you walking through it instead of being wheeled through it. So please, uh, <laughs> but, but if you need to use it, it's great to know that it's here and it's great to know that it's here for our, our community. It's hard to believe that six months ago, we stood in this very site for a wall breaking ceremony. Uh, when this area was, lar was a large empty space from one end of the pavilion to the other. Was there anyone here during the wall breaking? Yeah, many of you were. Uh, it was cold, it was uh, damp. Um, we busted a wall pretty good though, didn't we? We really hit, uh, hit it hard with the hammer, but uh, it was hard at that time to visualize what we're seeing today. And I think just a, a phenomenal amount of work in such a short period of time to see where we were and where we've come to today. So it's my pleasure this afternoon to officially say welcome to the University of Maryland Shore Regional Surgery Center at Queenstown. It's a great time. It's, it's a great time um, to be here before the new year to cut the ribbon and showcase this beautiful state-of-the-art outpatient surgery facility. Patient services at this surgery center comprise of a range of specialties and procedures including orthopedic, gastroenterology, urology, pain management, and general surgery. The types of procedures that can be performed here at the center include, but won't be limited to, hernia repairs, arthroscopies, prostate biopsies, and colonoscopies. True to our mission, this facility provides the residents of Queen Anne's County and beyond more options for their health care close to home. I'd like to take a second now to uh, recognize some of our VIPs in attendance who have traveled uh, far and near to be with us to celebrate today. This is in no particular order, but, uh, and if I miss anyone, I'm sorry, because uh, as you can imagine, we're trying to get everybody's names as they're walking in the door. But uh, uh, from my perspective, you're all VIPs, so let's just take a second to acknowledge some of those that are here with us today as well. Uh, first, Dr. Timothy Shanahan from Chesapeake Cardiology and the staff from the Chesapeake Cardiology Center. Tim, thank you for being here. Staff, thank you for being here. Mr. John Dillon, our President of the Board of Directors for Shore Regional Health, Chairman of the Board of Directors. <laughs> Dr. Andrew Pelzar, General Surgery for Shore Regional Health, who will do surgery in this. <laughs> Dr. Pelzar will be, we will be doing general surgery procedures here at the center. Um, Mr. Daryl Mealy from the University of Maryland Medical System. Daryl's here. Welcome, Daryl. <laughs> Daryl is our link to UMS and, and all of the work that was done uh, as, as part of this center. Uh, was uh, largely done through Daryl's help as the liaison between the medical system and Shore Regional Health. Uh, I'd also like to acknowledge uh, Kathy Diotis, who's on the Shore Regional Health Board. Kathy, great to see you today. Also, Mr. Keith McMahon, who is also on the Shore Regional Health Board, is here with us today. Keith. Thank you, Keith, for coming up. Uh, from the Queen Anne's County Commissioner, Mr. Steve, Stephen Wilson is here with us today. Stephen, thank you for being here. Uh, Mr. Greg Todd, the Queen Anne's County uh, County Manager is here as well. Kim Craddaville from Senator Cardin's office. Kim, thank you for coming. It's always great to see you. Linda Prohaska from Senator Mikulski's office. Linda. Mr. Roger Harrell from the Dorchester County Health Officer. Uh, Health Officer. Roger, thank you. Marianne Thompson, the Director of Clinical Programs in the Queen Anne's Health Department is here with us. Marianne. Thank you. Audrey Scott from the Queen Anne's uh, Community Association is here as well. Audrey. Thank you. Bruce DeLauder and his team from Whiting Turner who was instrumental in the construction process with us. Bruce, thank you. Faith Elliott Rossing from the Queen Anne's County uh, Director is here with us as well. Faith. As you can imagine, it takes an incredible team to go from concept to reality. And we're, we're, we're extremely grateful for everyone who played a part in helping us execute on today's plans. 
Um, I'd like to ha ask for uh, some special recognition for the leadership team at the University of Maryland Medical System, led by Mr. Bob Krenzik, Mr. Hank Franey, Mr. Mark Wasserman, uh, Sandy Benzer, Amy Dilcher, and the University of Maryland construction team led by Mr. Daryl Mealy, Calvin Hoffmaster, Patrick Devereaux, and Don Hall, all from the University of Maryland Medical System. Bob, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for Also, our consultant, Ms. Deborah Kitts of Brochard Consulting, who couldn't be here today with us, but as you can imagine, pulling all this together requires a special skill set and expertise, and she did an amazing job in such a short period of time. The architects for this project, Hort Copeland Mock, including the team led by uh, Eileen English. Is Eileen here with us? Great. Thank you. Absolutely beautiful facility. Nicely done. Thank you. Our general contractor, Whiting Turner, and their project manager, Phil Brown. Gentlemen, thank you. Our consulting engineer, Leach Wallace and Associates. And uh, one of the uh, teams that met on a regular basis to, again, go from concept to reality, a large, in large part representatives from the Shore Regional Health Team. And they include Ms. Penny Pink, Mr. Jim Ross, Walter Zajac, Patty Willis, Kathleen McGrath, Chris Parker, and our Chief Medical Officer, Dr. William Huffner. Thank you, team, for pulling this together. Appreciate it very much. Also, Colliers International, which manages this facility for us, thanks to uh, Vice President Lori Marino and our building engineer, Ralph Linder, Lidner, I'm sorry, who takes care of this pavilion and also the emergency center next door from Colliers International. Thank you. Special thanks also to Senator Steve Hershey and Delegate Steve Ahrens, who were instrumental in the MOU and in identifying this as a need for the community. Thank you, uh, Steve and Steve. And again, our, our partners at the Queen Anne's County, including the County Medical Director and Health Officer, Dr. Joseph Ciatola, our County Administrator, Mr. Greg Todd, and Commissioners past and present represented here in today's ceremony. And uh, you're going to hear a little later from Mr. Uh, Jim Moran. So we're going to uh, hear from Jim on the Queen Anne's County perspective from the council. Thank you, Jim, for being here. Now, I'd like to take a second now to introduce Mr. Robert Krenzik, who is the president and CEO of the University of Maryland Medical System. Um, Bob has been a steadfast supporter of Shore Regional Health um, for the many, many uh, years. We greatly appreciate Bob's support. Bob's a man of honor and integrity. Uh, when Bob speaks, he speaks the truth, and we listen, and uh, we greatly appreciate his support, his uh, steadfast and unwavering support of Shore Regional Health. Bob's got a few words he'd like to say, and uh, appreciate you being here, Bob. Thank you. Thanks, uh, Ken. That's uh, very, uh, where do you go? You're very kind of you there. <laughs> uh, thank you, everyone, for having me uh, over this afternoon. Uh, this is uh, a really a wonderful event, and uh, it's really my honor and very much my privilege uh, to be here this afternoon. As Ken indicated, I'm Bob Krenzik. I'm the CEO of the University of Maryland Medical System, and Shore Regional Health is a very, very important part of, of our system. And, uh, it, uh, even though the system has grown uh, now to have 12 hospitals and over 20,000 employees, uh, Shore Health is a, uh, is a very, very important and special part of our system. Uh, Shore Regional Health joined the University of Maryland Medical System back in 2006. And when you look at uh, how community health systems work, they begin and end with the local board. And they begin with John Dillon and the other board members here. And they give a lot of time. Uh, and, uh, and they really uh, give a lot of expertise. So I want to send a special thank you to the Shore Regional Board for everything you do every day uh, to make Shore Regional what it is. And I see these kind of projects uh, happening. Uh, they make a real difference. But the uh, Shore Regional and the University of Maryland Medical System have a, a very, very firm commitment to providing high quality care here in Queen Anne's County, right here in Queen Anne's County. And, I really enjoyed uh, being here in 2010 and opening the new emergency care center right next door. You know, being a student of, of healthcare across the state, you know, there are only two counties in this state that don't have hospitals, and this is one of them. And uh, I felt that emergency care center was just crucial to uh, healthcare delivery in this county, so I was very proud of that. 
And then in 2012, when we opened this building, opened the pavilion, it was also, I think, a special day. So it, it's great to be back here to, to see more happening here, to see the uh, Shore Regional Surgery Center at Queenstown. It's just another, to me, it's just another example of uh, the commitment that we have to Queen Anne's County and really to the entire five-county uh, area here in the mid-shore. Uh, the new, as Ken said, the new surgery center is going to provide a pretty wide range of uh, outpatient surgery options for medical specialists and their patients. And I want to send a special shout out to our physician partners who, uh, who are here today, as well as the nurses and other medical providers. They're the ones that make it happen every day. And uh, so I'm very grateful to folks who showed up and for the folks who will be, uh, who will be using the facility. Construction, I guess, uh, on this 11,000 square foot facility began about six months ago and uh, we always like to talk about being on time and on budget and uh, this project was on time and on budget. So anytime that happens, there's a lot of folks uh, who sit, uh, sit behind the, uh, uh, you might say, uh, sit behind the curtain and you never see them, but uh, they're the ones that make it happen. And uh, in addition to uh, Daryl Mealy, uh, I asked Daryl to give me a couple names who uh, people who really uh, hunkered down and did, and some of these names have already been mentioned, but Penny Pink, Patrick Devereaux, Eileen English, and Phil uh, Brown from White and Turner. Thank you, every, you know, all folks, for everything you did. It made a huge difference in getting this project in on time and on budget. Never take, uh, I've learned over the years, never take that for granted. Also, I'd uh, like everyone to know that Standing behind this project are all the resources of the University of Maryland Medical System. We stand behind uh, Shore Regional Health. We also stand behind this project, and that includes the large University of Maryland Medical Center and the School of Medicine up in Baltimore. And uh, we, you know, really as your healthcare partners uh, here, you know, we're just proud to be here. We're proud to help finance and make this project happen. It means a lot. So let me uh, wrap up by simply saying congratulations to everyone here who made this project happen. It takes, as you can tell from Ken's comments, it takes, uh, it takes a village. I've had a chance to tour this facility. It's wonderful. So it's a, it's a great day in Queen Anne's County, and uh, we're very, very proud to be your partners and delivering really outstanding health care in the mid-shore. So thanks for having me, and congratulations. Very well done. <laughs>Well, first, I, I would like to say thank you to Kathy and, and, and Ken for keeping us up to date month in and month out for, for the last five or six years. Uh, that, that definitely is a process that we appreciate and uh, got a lot of great results from it. Uh, I would like to say for many years, Queen Anne's County was considered a bedroom community, meaning our residents had to go somewhere else for their health care and, and other services. Uh, by bringing these essential services, the emergency room, the surgery center, dialysis and whatnot, here to Queen Anne's County,